Maine, and I'm a senior at Dover High School and also a member of Dover Youth TV. I'm Audrey Kettlewood. I'm a sophomore at Dover High School and also a member of Dover Youth TU. And I'm Grace Lunny and I'm a junior at Newmarket Junior Senior High School and I'm a member of Newmarket Youth TU and I loved the program so much that I also joined Dover Youth TU. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Dover Youth TU is a program made up of around 70 students. We have four different teams and we meet once a week. So each meet team meets two hours a week and focuses on drug use problems. So today we wanted to talk about our attitude towards the marijuana problem and what we have tried to do in the past and what we are continuing to do to help get our message out. So when we take action, we do it in four main categories, which are media, education, community awareness, and policy change. So when we do media, we make video and radio PSAs as well as every year we make a film for the Granite Youth Alliance Film Festival. We also present a variety of different educational presentations to schools around New Hampshire. And for community awareness, we tackle projects and do different community awareness projects to bring awareness to different topics. We are also very, very involved in policy change. So our primary policy change effort has been to prevent the legalization of marijuana. We've, <laughs> we've testified in the State House over the past few years, including twice last winter. So we all believe that marijuana is a very big problem, especially when it comes to high school students. Every other year we get our YRBS data, which is our Youth Risk Behavior Survey. And this survey is done at a variety of middle and high schools, and it is done with seventh graders through 12th graders. So in 2017, it said that 23% of students report having used marijuana in the past 30 days. This is specifically talking about high school students. That number is sure to be on the, um, is sure to have grown more by now. And that is almost a fourth of high school students. That is a crazy thing to think about. So we have a lot of concerns about marijuana, especially now that it's coming to the point where it may be legalized. But we're going to show our three main concerns, just so you have an idea of what they are. So first of all, it means that if marijuana is legalized, youth will have a greater access to it. Right here on the next slide, our YRBS data shows that now, or in 2017, 41% of students say that it would be very easy for them to find or get their hands on marijuana. Now, if marijuana is legalized, that number will surely increase. And that's already a really big percentage that I most definitely do not want to see it get any bigger. So another one of our main concerns is that if marijuana were to be legalized in New Hampshire, then the use of marijuana while driving would increase. So the big concern is that we don't really have an easy, reliable, and on-the-spot way to determine if someone is under the influence of marijuana. How, so you can relate it kind of to um, a breathalyzer, so when law enforcement people use a breathalyzer, they can see if someone is under the influence of alcohol within seconds. There really isn't something like that related to marijuana, so that is one of our concerns. Also, legalizing marijuana makes it seem like it is no big deal. Yep. <laughs> yes, especially since marijuana has been legalized around us, you can tell that youth's um, idea of how harmful it is has gone down. In 2013, um, on our YRBS data, it said that over 20% said that they thought they would be at great risk for harming themselves if they used marijuana once or twice a week. Now, on the other hand, in 2017, that number has dropped down to below 5%. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. And now in 2019, that number is surely even lower. And if marijuana is legalized, that number will most definitely be very, very low. So on like a personal note, we're all high school students here. So we see this on a daily basis. I can walk into the girls' bathroom and I see girls passing around dab pens, which are basically um, vaporizers for THC. 
There are people having edibles in class and all sorts of just parties and stuff you hear about, oh, so-and-so is gonna bring the weed and it, they just seem like it's harmless. And I go to a lot smaller school than these girls and last week, actually, we had to shut down our only girls restroom because three eighth grade girls were smoking weed in it. So as you can see, it is a big problem, even among the younger generations of teens. We are seeing evidence everywhere of marijuana being accepted and perceived as a positive thing. We conducted an experiment where we went to four of the largest malls in New Hampshire and saw if stores would sell products glorifying marijuana to kids. Not only did they sell products glorifying marijuana, but they sold products used to hide an illegal substance to minors. We call this our Retail Responsibility Project. And what we found is not that not only do they sell it to anyone, they sell it to very young teenagers. So here's some examples of things that we were able to buy. Um, some people are carrying them around the room, plus you can see them on the PowerPoint. Youth were able to buy t-shirts, phone cases, games, and plenty of things that are very clearly targeting kids with their products. And when I was 13 years old, I was able to buy these dube tubes, which are fake tampons used to hide marijuana. On the back it says, easy to hide, smell proof, holds liquid too. And in small print, it says, not for illegal use. <laughs> this was five years ago. It wasn't even illegal in Vermont yet. So obviously, these products should not have been bought by kids. And there was even more. Kids were able to buy masks, posters, and a variety of different things. So basically how we did our project is once when kids went in and tried to buy these products, if the people working at the store refused to sell the products to them, we would come back with a letter thanking them and telling them why we're doing this entire survey and why we feel it's important. Now on the other hand, <laughs> if they sold it to us, we had a different letter. This letter showed why we thought it was a problem and how we think this is giving kids the wrong idea about marijuana. Usually when we bring these letters, we bring them right to the manager, we tell them what we feel is wrong with this, and they are very respectful and they totally understand, and they usually just say that they never thought about that. I said that's what usually happens. It's not always what happens. Mm -hmm. A good example of maybe people not being as mature as they could be is Spencer's Gifts. When we went in with the letter, Spencer's Gifts proceeded to rip up the letter and throw it at our students. Yep. So, obviously they were not very mature in that specific situation. <laughs> Since then, they have around time of year that we normally do retail responsibility because we do it once or twice a year. They have refused to sell the product. But the thing is, I know plenty of friends who have, like people my age that have bought stuff from there. So it's very clear that they just don't sell it when they think they might get in trouble. They get used to our patterns. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And we also do a lot of media work. So a lot of our media comes in with um, the messaging that marijuana is not as harmless as it seems. So an example of one thing we did that had a lot of media work within it was after our retail responsibility, we did a press conference that ended up in several newspapers. And this really got the word out about what these businesses are doing and why it's honestly a really bad idea and how much it can affect youth. So another thing with the media that we do is we create radio and video PSAs. And last year we actually created a video for the Granite Youth Alliance um, yearly film fest. fest. That's the word. Um, where we did it on marijuana, and that's called Fact, and we're gonna play it for you guys now. So while we're waiting, me and Elsa are in this one, so see if you can spot it. I'm Audrey, and that's Elsa. <laughs> You'll spot it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, while we're waiting, if anyone has any questions right now that they'd like to ask us about things we've done in the past or different awareness projects, we would be glad to take any questions.
Way in the back. Yes, how do you get so many kids involved in your program? Okay, so that has to do with the fact that our program has been around for over 25 years. So basically, our main recruitment that we do is at the end of fifth grade at Dover High School, or Dover Middle School, um, the older students that are in youth youth will do a presentation to all the students, and this presentation is called The History of Lies, and it goes along kind of with the D.A.R.E. lessons they've been getting. And at the end of this presentation, we tell them about our yearly summer program that we do, and um, encourage them to join and sign up if it's something they're interested in. All of us definitely joined Youth Youth for very different reasons, but we've all learned so much from it and all of us definitely don't regret it. Like I personally joined because I had some experience with my family with different problems in the past, as well as the fact that I just love the idea of presenting. Now other people joined because they were siblings We can see that. <laughs> but one really important thing about Youth Youth is the fact that I was very outgoing when I started, but we have some students that have already graduated who are amazing presenters and are so amazing that started out being people that could not talk to people. Hmm. So that's one thing that caused a lot of people to join. All right, so now we have the video up. We'll take more questions after. Um, also, if you'd like to come up to us at any point later on and ask us questions too, that works. Yep. Hello. I'm an official doctor, and I'm here to tell you the facts about marijuana. Fact. Marijuana makes you a better driver. Fact. Marijuana improves school performance. Marijuana is not addictive. I'm not addicted. I'm only a social smoker. Fact. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a kid in high school. The fact is, marijuana does not help your driving. The fact is, marijuana doesn't help you in school. 